Morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 6th of February 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com, and you can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, the uh, stats, we certainly have the US markets continuing, continuing to move higher. Okay, uh, the uh, double top on the S&P 500 is around the uh, 2300 level. Certainly seems like we want to test that today. Uh, euphoria continues to uh, build with regards to Mr. Trump's uh, deregulation, really, of the uh, financial sector. Uh, okay, with regards to the rollback of the Dodd-Frank potential agreement. And uh, all these uh, com well, all these organizations, basically, post uh, credit crunch, uh, have certainly been under a lot of red tape, uh, okay, legal restrictions, etc. And uh, that certainly seems to be rolled back, and that's that's the euphoria at present. So certainly on the S&P 500, we're looking to test that 2300 zone, 2301 uh, is a pivot top. Now, the weekly chart itself, obviously, is very hard to argue against that. Uh, weekly chart certainly very bullish now the 10 minute chart on friday certainly had uh, pivot r3 resistance but the uh, futures certainly are very very bullish i mean we have the uh, the actual um, smp now breaking through that uh, 2299 zone we have the uh, the nasdaq certainly pushing higher too uh, above the uh, 5160 zone so very very impressive okay very very impressive to say the least so again in terms of the eurozone a lot of concerns in terms of the eurozone as well uh, let's just go through the actual uh, fundamentals overnight. First and foremost, German factory orders, very, very stellar, coming in at 5.2%, smashing the 0.5% by 10, 10 to 1, okay, in terms of the actual economic data coming through. Uh, now, that certainly is neutralised by the comments by Mr. Schauble, arguing that the uh, Germans have a massive trade surplus and would be happy for a higher euro. Also, given the fact that the Germans are certainly um, are very afraid of any potential uh, inflation concerns, going forward and they realize the weaker euro certainly is very inflationary and that's the last thing they want to see now they can't do that due to the fact that uh, italy and france certainly would be on their knees okay will be struggling if the euro weren't as low as uh, 1.07 zone okay so uh, again certainly bear that in mind it's a juggling act that the germans have to do but with mr crump's criticism last week with regards to his uh, uh, anti-german uh, rhetoric Again, that is a risk-off move. If a potential trade war were to start, a currency a war is, has already begun, okay? And the trade war really is inevitable and it's probably next, okay? So, again, that's net, net negative for the uh, German economy, especially if the euro starts to uh, move higher, so bear that in mind. Okay, so factory orders certainly beating Centix, investor confidence certainly beating as well, uh, basically coming in as, as consensus expectations. So, again, two arguments for a bullish bias. Now, the... Uh, Chinese data as well overnight certainly came in more or less in line, but the forecast going forward certainly was bearish. So again, bear that in mind. Certainly did send the Aussie and the Kiwi lower, uh, and uh, although the Asian markets did actually finish higher, the uh, Shanghai finishing higher 0.5% and the Nikkei finishing higher 0.3%. Okay, now in terms of US, we only have Mr. Harker's speech really to look forward to. It'll be interesting as to what he has to say, although we do have some comments from Mr. Draghi as well later on. Now let's look at the actual uh, technicals now. Let's see exactly where we stand. Okay, German DAX, I've stated this already over the weekend, and the, given the fact that we have number one, uh, Marine Le Pen potentially gaining uh, power in France and concerns regarding that, so political uncertainty in France. Uh, again, that is a cause for major concern, okay? Uh, there's uh, doubts over Mr. Trump's fiscal policy as well, with several uh, individ notable individuals, such as Mr. Ray Dalio, who was initially bullish, has now turned bearish on Mr. Trump, okay? Now, uh, Brexit as well. There's Brexit concerns with potentially 1027 MPs revolting. And now the latest news with regards to the uh, Scottish uh, independence. They certainly want to argue for independence and want to go down the uh, referendum route again. Iranians raising oil output over the weekend, given the, the refugee ban. Again, that's a cause for concern. And also given the French terrorism incident on Friday as well, France certainly will be uh, under pressure and certainly will remain weak. Okay, So multiple arguments for the downside. We'll certainly keep the German economy at bay. We're consolidating on the daily chart here and looking for a potential flush lower. 60-minute chart, we've certainly pushed lower, looking for gap fill below. And looking for support at 11,500 to come into play. So just bear that in mind in terms of the German DAX. 
10 minute chart on the German DAX, certainly a thrust higher, certainly an impressive thrust higher this morning. You can see that we've obviously closed the gap, okay. Uh, this was a gap fill here, gap fill close at 11,650, 11, one hell of a thrust. And again, like I said, uh, 11,535, that's the gap that we're really looking to potentially target so going forward. So let's see how the German DAX unfolds. We're certainly looking for a retest of those lows, okay. In terms of the French CAC, we have a HNS formation currently into that FIB 61% retracement. You've left an unfilled gap behind as well, given French terrorism concerns, given uh, political concerns with Marine Le Pen now potentially coming into power. The SNP are arguing that um, uh, her debt plan certainly would trigger uh, a, um, a ratings downgrade. Okay, so again, and would potentially make the country bankrupt certainly isn't good news at all 60 minute chart the french cac you are now coming back into resistance now around the 4850 zone you have two unfilled gaps below certainly acting as magnets forcing price action lower 10 minute chart you have resistance here where we are at present which is 4840 the next one is 4850 unfilled gap remains below at 4795 and that would i would be the ideal target on the downside Okay, in terms of FTSE 100 now, FTSE 100 certainly has played the bull flag. I was actually long the FTSE this morning, or all morning, waiting for this bull flag to actually transpire, but it failed to do so until the last hour or so. Okay, we've certainly seen that play out. 10 minute chart, you are into 9 to double top resistance, looking at horizontal resistance at this juncture, especially with regards to the 200 MA on the 60 minute chart. Daily chart as well, you have horizontal resistance here. Uh, previous support equals resistance as well. And certainly looking for a move or continued move to the downside, especially given the political uncertainty and the US market double top on the S&P 500. So bias remains buried from me at this juncture and looking for lower prices. On that note, please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.